So, I actually forgot something very important in the game at the very beginning, so we're going to run back and get that. But first, let me do this a little differently. I just need to get to one of these plugs. I know the robot's coming from that direction. You hear an electronic hum approaching from your left. So I just need to draw that plug real quick. Alright, I'm good. Let's try and get out of here in one piece. It's okay if I die because I have the picture you of the You hear plug. an electronic hum approaching from your right. Okay. Now, at the very beginning of the game, I forgot something, and here will be more of my proof to you that this game isn't as on rails as it seems. We're going to go all the way back to the start of the game. I tried to do this as, a straight, as straight a playthrough as possible with no looping, so it was more cinematic. But it often required me to be doing things and you not knowing why. You climb up into the landing gear housing. How clever you are. But the game does work if you actually wait to encounter the puzzles before going to find the solutions. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit here, but we're very close to the end of the game. We're definitely beating it in this playthrough. We're in the heart of Slodgeball Hall space. We're only missing two items, which is the plug for the Pocket Pal, and, oh yeah, the Pocket Pal. My bad. There's a whole screen in the opening section that I missed. It's been a while since I've played this game. This whole time I've been like, how am I going to get the plug for the Pocket Pal? And I forgot I didn't even have it with me. I know, this takes forever. And we're now back to the beginning of the game, which means that zombie is still around here now. He's not really a zombie, he's a... Oh, Luke did not pass his driving test. So go in the glove box. It looks like a genuine pocket pal portable terminal. After taking a quick look around to reassure yourself that the place is as dead as it looks, you snitch the pocket pal laptop. A portable computer? This must be the future. to make the ship come back, I have to go down into the sewers and back up and then repeat the process from the beginning of the game. Which means you also have another chance to get the slime if you didn't get it before. Oh no! The door had... Yeah, yeah. The door shut. No way to get back in there. Except I just did. And any of the three ways down will cause slime to chase you down. So another thing I forgot, but it took care of, is when I got in the time pod at the Galleria, the first thing I needed to do was write down the address so that I could return to the Galleria. Luckily, 
since I saved the game in tears, I was able to go back and get that in between. So, we could just pretend I did that right the first time. If you can do anything with... I just want to go. That's my ride, yo. This seems to be a relatively spacious... Yep. I know I'm skipping dialogue, but it's dialogue we heard in the first episode, so... Trying to get to the end of this thing. I will try not to skip anything you haven't heard. I will also be skipping through the items in the catalog at Hurt So Good. Which, by the way, I like is the name of the store. Like... I get they wanted Radio Shock and couldn't have it, but I like it so good, it's funny. It's the hairdresser's equivalent of curl up and die. Notice at no point in this game have I had to smell or lick anything. I don't know why they were options when they serve zero function in the game. Power of time and success. I love that it gives you that build up, and it could be a failure. And since we had to come back here anyway, I might find out if there's a playable Astro Chicken game there. Briefly. Watching this fine youngster brings back fond memories of your youth. Little did you know that all those hours of playing blazing paddles were in preparation for being a space guy hero type. I just was curious about the fact that he's a giant eyeball. It's harder to get into stores using this inside track. But I'm trying to go fast. Gotta go fast. Because we're almost at the end of this. Roger has to save his son, even though he doesn't know it. No, 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 come on. Oh! That was the most thrilling action sequence. Oh, God. He 
doesn't change the volume of that sound. Pocket pa Pocket pa Okay, it is this one. Iceman Pocket Ice Machine. This miracle of modern engineering fits in purse or pocketbook and freezes 15 pounds of ice cubes per hour. Choose from ice slices, cubes, or crushed. Requires many hydrogen and oxygen canisters sold separately. Breaks the ice at parties. 300 buckazoids recalled by manufacturer. Epachia. Now you can remove unsightly chia growth from upper lip, legs, bikini area, and small clay figurines. Painless and electronic. Almost tickles once you get used to it. Instantly cauterizes major blood vessels. Battery operated. 32 volt dry cell not included. 32 buckazoids. Not available in the spiral arm. I know I said I was in a hurry, but I wanted to see some of this stuff. Then the recipe beamer. Imagine the situation. The ambassador from Corona is coming for dinner, and all you have handy is a can of condensed cream of orat soup and a box of nano wafers. You punch the appropriate buttons on your recipe beamer and instantly we beam the perfect recipe to you. Over 18 trillion recipes collected from all over the universe just to make meal planning easier. 455 buckazoids. Estimated date of uplink, November 2803. Okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna go through everything in the game. Oh god, that sound. It does not hurt so good, but it hurts. Alright, now it's time to go beat the game. Now at this point, you may be remembering we picked up an item at the very beginning of the game that we haven't used yet. It's time is coming. They did it. Astro Chicken. Not sure what I'm supposed to be egging. Oh, I guess maybe the dog? Because the dog can jump up and get me. Wrapped in chicken wire for no reason. The arc on the as eggs. Oh god. I have three eggs left. <laughs> I had a suspicion. Corn get you more eggs. Yeah, I'm I deliberately chose to die. I got the point. It's a cute little game, but I'm going to get back to the actual game. Flew right into that man's face. Come on, Dick Cheney, get me. Here we go. Q. 
Game over. All right. Now that we've had our fun, it's time to go save the universe. You can't do that. Fight me. The powerful quad quark. Yes, yes, yes. We now have everything we need, no more backtracking, straight to the end of the game. So, we picked up this pocket pal. This is just a dumb terminal. It won't do anything by itself. Don't... You plug the mobile power cylinder into the laptop. You attach the plug to the pocket pal. And now we have a computer. With that computer, we can hack into the security grid here and see the robot patterns so we can avoid them to get to Sludgeville Hall's lair. And there's a terminal hiding right there. There's a guy right there, so we're going to move. The pocket pal. Keep your You hear an electronic hum. You hear an electronic hum approaching from your left. Uh-oh. Take a good look, Roger. Remember this poor wretched soul, for he is your son. What? You hear an electronic hum approaching from behind you. Still alive for now. This maze is the last difficult part of this game. Well, <laughs> difficult part. It's the last cha really challenging part. It's pretty straightforward after this.
can't help you yet. You hear an electronic hum approaching from your right. That's fine. As long as it wasn't approaching from in front of me. That's a problem. I'm dead. You hear an electronic hum approaching from behind you. You hear an electronic hum approaching from your left. You hear an electronic hum approaching from behind you. That thing is still chasing me. Oh, Roger. I'm not even 100% sure where I need to go. Oh. Now you. All right. Uh, I may see you guys after I solve the mystery maze. All right, guys. I made it. That was unpleasant, but we're here. You see a small keypad. Well, then I'm going to use it. Remember those numbers from the hint book that seemed silly and seemed to mean nothing? It's a good thing I wrote them down. If you put in the wrong number, you die. With that in mind, I should have saved. We're about to begin the countdown timer. Keep your hand Keep your hands to yourself. Get in there. Looks rather like a security droid of some sort. Well, we're just going to throw that away. The robots are no longer a problem. This is your brain. Had this been a real brain, you would have known how to use it. If I delete Space Quest 4, it will actually just, like, drop you out of this game. And I don't know what that would do to the recording, so I'm not going to do it. But I do think it's a funny You've joke. You've seen this mystic rune somewhere else. If you delete King's Quest, what is that, 43? Probably represents some tertiary function of the supercomputer brain. Certainly nothing important. If you delete King's Quest 43, uh, the countdown timer that I haven't initiated yet goes even faster. And we'll get rid of Leisure Suit Larry 4. The missing floppies. They'll never find them now. You can't. You're far too busy. You're far. Don't. I want out of here. Keep your. You can't. Don't. 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 You can't. You're far. You're. 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 You're far too busy for that now. Don't. Don't. You. Don't. You. You don't need to look at that. The ah, had to hit the little 
close icon over here. And there's our countdown timer. So we've got to go beat the game. Come on, son, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Hello again, Roger. It's me, your old friend, Sludge Volhall. I've taken the liberty of borrowing your son's body. I had to remove him first to make room for my mental self. His is on this disc. Say, it's most enjoyable to be in a young, healthy body. You. Even if it's from your bloodline. You is inside my son. I like it so much. I think I'll keep it. I guess we'll have no use for this anymore. <laughs> Now it's time to settle things, once and for all. You'd better be careful, though. Keep this in mind. If I die while in this body, that disc will be useless. Your son will never draw another breath. And if you don't defend yourself, you will never live to buff another helmet. Or to give birth to the body you're in. Show me what you've got, mop jockey. What is going on? Wrestle, wrestle. Gotta go get that disc. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. I feel like that timer's counting down faster than it needs to. The label on the diskette reads, Roger Jr., Brain Tools, Stunt Flyer. Oh good, Don't Stunt Flyer.
Well, that's just uh. great. Now Vohal's on the loose again, disguised as your son. Sorry, I can't remember the correct order of commands there. Don't worry, I'll speed through this as quick as I can. Okay, and we'll do this quick. Now that I know what I'm doing, which is just clicking a lot. You know, if you kill me, I can't give birth to you. Or, you know, impregnate the woman who does. Just saying, Sludge Vohal, super genius. Just casually wander over there. No rush. All I got to do is get these commands in the right order, and the game is beaten. Come on. Okay. So I want to download the disc. Don't I? I did that wrong again. Follow me. There are many things we need to talk about. Oh, no, I did it right. That's it. Is it you true? Must... I'm you so... Must... <sighs> you must be very confused. Were Volhall's words true? Are you really my son? You do look a little like me, though not as good looking. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, not as good looking? I'm ten times... Oh, wait. What am I saying? This is no way to start. Yes, what Vohal said is true. I have many things to tell you, Dad. I should start at the beginning. I was born 19 years ago on Xenon. It's always been my home. The Xenon of today, at least up until recently, had made great strides in managing our planet's resources. That included water, minerals, even the talent of our population. We enjoyed peace for so many years, we took it for granted. The creation of the first Super Biomech computer was the biggest success story in our history. When the Vohal virus was introduced and began to control the computer, a state of total chaos was created. We were unprepared for what followed as Vohal turned our technology against us. The population was quickly decimated. Some of us stayed and tried to fight, some were captured, and some fled the planet. When it seemed there was no hope, we thought of one last long shot effort. That was to find the only person in history ever to defeat Vohal. We had to go back in time to find that person, you. We got there just in time. You had to go back in time to get me? Why wasn't I available in this time? What happened to me? I don't understand. I'm sorry. There are some things I, I wish I could tell you, but can't. I know that's not what you want to hear. Believe me, I just can't. Hey, if you're my son, who's your mother? My wife? Where is she? 
who is she? You sure ask a lot of questions for a janitor. <laughs> this is my mother and your wife. Her name was Beatrice. Beatrice Wankmeister. She nice. was quite beautiful, wasn't she? What do you mean, was quite beautiful? What are you saying? I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. Please, I can't tell you anymore. I don't believe all this. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter now. I have to send you back where I found you so that history will properly reflect the events which brought us to this place in time. You won't remember much. This will seem like it was a weird, fuzzy dream. I must get back to the task of contacting all the surviving citizens of our planet. We have a huge task ahead of us. Rebuilding our city and our lives will not be easy, but we will do it. Once more, I have to ask you to enter the time rip. It will return you to Magmetheus in the Space Quest IV era. Please, go now. It's time. I guess he does the info dump in case Dad? you didn't... I'm glad I got to see you, even if only for a few minutes. Xenon owes you a lot. Goodbye, Dad. In case you didn't hit the hidden button and get all the info dump about Volhall and the supercomputer, your son gives it to you right at the end. And, uh, Wankmeister? Okay. The face of a hero, ladies and gentlemen. Be excellent to one another. So many unanswered questions. The future should prove most interesting for Roger, if he can stay out of trouble long enough to reach it. We're glad you could help Roger get through it all. Thank you for playing Space Quest IV. That's it. Two more Space Quests to go. And in my opinion, the last one is the best one. Uh, the fifth one has its charms, it has its moments, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. I don't know any of these people, but they did good work. It would have been nice to have text with my speech. Hey, I know him. The voice of King Graham, Josh Mandel. Gary Owens does a hell of a job. They bring him back in six. He was also the burger manager in this one, Josh Mandel. Nice. Giving me plenty of time to read this, and I appreciate that, but... Carlos Escobar worked on Leisure Suit Larry 6, didn't he? Yeah, you guys did that one already. Oh, are the, the credits are looping and I just didn't notice? They are. Okay, we're done. We're done. I will see you guys next time. I don't know how to stop. How do I get out of these credits? The escape key does nothing. Ah!